Flak Up Chef, and uh, we're going to do uh, fried leftover potatoes, um, a couple of variants with some onion, maybe some garlic, maybe some bacon. So let's get down to it. Now, quite often when you're cooking potatoes, these can be new potatoes, uh, normal potatoes, and then white potatoes, red potatoes. You can uh, cook a few too many, get your quantities wrong. Uh, I do that all the time, but you don't need to waste them. So what I do is I got my new potatoes here, pop them in a bowl, a bit of cling film on top, pop them in the fridge. And they'll last in the fridge for two or three days. No problem at all. So, I then take my potato, new potato here, and I want to create slices. So sharp knife, cutting away again, thumb behind, fingers up, there we go. And I'm cutting a slice that's maybe two, three millimetres. Now, because these have already been cooked, you're not going to take too long to prepare. So there we go, there's a little bridge at the end there. I'll take another one here, same sort of thing. Chop it into nice pieces. These are quite crumbly, but that's okay. Sharp knife, we're good. There we go. Potatoes, and we'll do one more. This time it's got a flat edge, so I'm just going to cut it this way. Bridge. There we go. So we've now got our potatoes nicely sliced. I've got a pan on the stove with some uh, vegetable oil, sunflower oil in it just to cover the base. Now I'm just going to prepare quickly a uh, shallot. If you remember from the video previously, we just cut the ends off, then bridge, knife point in, push down, not quite all the way through. Well, it doesn't matter if you do go all the way through, it just makes it easier to peel off the outer skin that we don't want. Here we go. And then I'm just going to nicely in a small piece of knife in again, point through, and then quick dice. same way because I want little pieces, knife in, cut along, move onto a bridge and then slice, dice nice and finely. Cut really quickly when they're this small, remember the smaller you cut something, the quicker it's going to cook. Okay, now I've got some garlic that I uh, prepared earlier, you can check out the video on how to do that. And for the third piece, I'm just going to, for those who uh, want a meat version rather than purely vegetarian, I've just got some streaky bacon. I'm just going to cut this through. Okay, sharp knife is really helpful. So I want to create some pieces. There we go, just pull it forward a little bit. Fingers out of the way. I'm going to turn it this way. And I'll just Chop it like this, all the way through. There we go. So I've got these lovely little bacon pieces, just to add a little bit of flavour. But as I say, you don't have to use the bacon. There we go. Rough and ready, you don't have to be precise, you have to cut through every last strand. Okay, there we go. And pop that off to the side and now we're going to take this over to the pan so let's go over here here's our pan it's been heating up bring across the ingredients i'm going to put the potatoes in first they're going to take the longer to cook i'm just going to pop these in this is the shallow side careful it does stick up a bit stick it in the fridge and it's retained some water so water and fat Means it's going to stick. Pop that actually potentially. So this is okay, there we go. Lovely little shallow fry happening. Perfect. Now I'm going to fork.
and it will not take long because they're already cooked. What we're looking for is just to be browned on the outside. You see it's already starting to turn brown. It's a great way of just using up leftover food. Don't waste food. Enough people in the world starving as it is without us wasting food. There we go. Over. We're looking for a nice brown colour. It's already starting to turn. Got this on in on my cooker number eight, so pretty high. Okay. These pieces just flip them over as well. These are the end pieces. Okay, so it's already starting to cook nicely. At this point, I'm just going to pop in. Onions, so we can then move these shallots in. There we go. We'll just stir around. That's it. Looking good. We've already turned the brown. In my case, the bacon in the middle. You don't have to do that, as I said. Now, I'm putting the uh, garlic in last, and that's because garlic, if you're not careful, will burn quite quickly. Um, it's, it's they're made of, so they, they will burn pretty quickly, so we be careful with the garlic. I don't really want burnt garlic in there. You can see it's already starting to take shape. we we'll just pop these back over again. All of this is going to take probably four or five minutes at most. And we're going to have a lovely little fry up of the leftover potatoes. There we go. So we've probably got no more than a minute, minute and a half to go. And I'm going to for now pop a little bit of garlic in there to give it that extra flavour. There we go. So garlic just going to pop them in there. I like bacon, so it's kind of nice. Ah, wow. I can really smell that garlic in there, man. Mixing with that bacon. Thank you. It's going to take maybe another 60 seconds to be cooked. You could do this with a fried egg as well. Check out the videos on fried eggs. Just pop a fried egg on top and you've got a fabulous breakfast, thank you. And as you can see, garlic is starting to turn and change colour. Bacon lovely and brown and crispy. So we go to We're just looking for the brown colour on the outside of the paper. Okay, so we go to this kind of look. That's the finished answer. And you'll find once they start to turn, they will turn really quickly. So do be careful, don't leave this over hanging around. Okay, it's done. Let's put it on the plate. There we go. Simple food, using leftovers. You can put any of those ingredients in, or you can just fry the potatoes on their own. That's absolutely fine as well. There we go. Used extra potatoes that were, we didn't use before in the fridge, fried up with some bacon, some garlic, and some shallots, sorted.